The high-speed robotic tester is revolutionizing routine chemical toxicity studies. Robert Kavlak is the director of the National Center for Computation and Toxicology at the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA. A single human working might work on 10 chemicals in a year, or, or 20. Um, so, you know, we're doing 10,000 in a week. The plan is to create a comprehensive library of toxic and harmful chemicals, a library that doesn't exist today. The robot is now testing chemicals found in industrial and consumer products, food additives and drugs, for evidence they might lead to adverse health effects. Besides its speed, the robot offers scientists other benefits. It works 24 hours a day without complaining or asking for holidays or vacations. And it eliminates the need for live animals in the testing process, working only with animal cells arranged on special plates. On that plate are 1,536 individual wells. And each well, you might imagine, only contains a drop or two of, of solution. And we put on, in each one of those cells a single chemical. And so we have 1,536 chemicals on a single plate. Each plate has a barcode label containing information about the chemical samples in those wells. The robot gets software instructions about what kind of biological activities to look for in the samples and it tests for them very quickly. Once it is done, it sends the results to the scientists and waits for new instructions. The scientists, meanwhile, will evaluate what the data means in terms of toxicity and whether a chemical can cause birth defects, reproductive problems or cancer. Industry will benefit because if we can develop a test that allows us to say whether a chemical is toxic or not toxic, and we can do it for thousands of dollars rather than millions of dollars, it becomes an economic benefit to industry to do it. Um, it becomes a benefit to animal rights organizations who are concerned about how many animals we're using. Kaplak notes that there is no safety information on a lot of chemicals in use today and about 1,500 new synthetic chemicals are introduced to the market every year in the United States. The new robot will give scientists a clearer picture of this torrent of chemical products and help manufacturers and regulators separate the toxic stuff from the benign. This is Sulima Palacio, VOA News.